So let's uh, get uh, started. Okay. Uh, first, I mean, apologize for the um, um, for switching to online classes like last two weeks because of my COVID nineteen, and uh, yeah, um, I think I'm fully recovered now. So um, we will switch to. Uh, um, this uh, regular class mode, like uh, hopefully, like uh, uh, till end of the semester. Okay, um, I still have a little bit uh, issue with my throat, even though the the test kit shows like only, you know, test kit only show like negative, but. Uh, um, uh, my voice is not uh, fully, you know, back to normal yet. I mean, so if you feel that my voice is a little bit low, okay, and you couldn't hear it clearly, I mean, you can always ask me to to repeat, okay. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, the first thing is uh, the homework three, right? I mean. The due date of homework three is uh, around the corner. Is that right? Yeah. Just want to remind you. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, um, when you submit to uh, the homework three, okay, remember to turn in your uh, term project lab members as well. Okay, because uh, I believe like uh, I said, like uh, each group to have like three students okay so um if you really couldn't find it find your uh, uh you know teammates uh the ta will randomly assign teammates for you but uh, uh don't i really don't suggest like uh, you you do it this way because uh from the past experience like uh, the, the randomly assigned teammates normally do not do much work okay so which will obviously hurt your term project performance okay so don't mean uh, try to get your uh, teammate okay uh, as you know as, as quickly as possible okay so um, so last time okay we were talking about the um, the sampling technique. Okay, this is a, a crucial uh, technique that was proposed like uh, in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Okay, um, before that, before this, um, you know, random sampling technique was proposed. Actually, um, um, the Bayesian uh, inference wasn't possible because, uh, as I said, like uh, even though you can use grid approach, okay, I mean, if you cannot use grid, I mean, if you want to use like a conjugate prior, uh, the situation is like uh, your, I mean, the conjugate prior is limited in in very few uh, uh, likelihood cases, okay? And also the country applied itself has only limited uh, shape, okay? Um, which doesn't, you know, uh, simulate like a, a certain prior very well, okay? Uh, if you want to do the approximation, I mean, meaning you want to use like a grid point to approximate the um, the posterior, okay? Um, in real application, I mean, most likely you are end up uh, having like a high dimensional space, okay? When I say high dimensional, I'm I'm talking about like uh, more than ten or even twenty high. Uh, uh, parameters. So consider if you try to sample 10 
you know, 10, just 10 points from each dimension. If you have like, a, say like a 20 dimensions, it will be 10 to the power of 20. Okay, that's just impossible. Okay, just impossible. So this uh, metropolis uh, sampling, okay, um, that we talked about last time, okay, um, is able to find, is able to approximate the the posterior, okay, or um, let, let me just not to use like any particular um, 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 because they are only limited uh, assumptions for this uh, random work. Okay. This one. As long as we are able to evaluate the, t the, pop the target distribution at any proposed position, okay, uh, in other words, like uh, the, um, the, the current, uh, uh, you know, probability density, okay, versus the, 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 the target, like the, the, the proposed uh, locations, like uh, uh, probability density, I mean, here, I mean, we don't really need the real value. We only need like uh, the ratio. This is very important. Okay, we only need the, 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 the ratio. Okay, and then we need to, you know, uh, um, oh, sorry, the first one. When you generate random value from proposed distribution, okay, and uh, the second one, I mean, just I just say that, and the third, we must be able to generate a random value from uniform distribution to determine whether or not to accept the proposed uh, the proposal or not. Okay, so these three steps, okay, if you repeatedly doing uh, do that, okay, you will be able to uh, generate samples very effectively, very effectively. You don't really need like a, you know, you just need like a, the, 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 um, for our purpose, for the, to generate the, uh, the, the posterior, okay, distribution, um, we can use the P uh, of D unconditional theta times P of theta, okay? In other words, like, uh, you know, this is the likelihood. This is like a, a prior. The prior multiplied by the likelihood. Normally, okay, in order to get the posterior, you need to divide this term by P of D. But the P of D, the, the denominator, is the, is the issue, right? It's the issue that we, uh, we have to do in integral to get the P of D. But, uh, okay, because for this uh, particular sampling technique, you can see that because P of D is, uh, is the same regardless of the, 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 the location of the theta. So, um, you know, the denominator cancel out each other, okay, in this formula. So you don't need to compute P of D, okay. So this is uh, very, very important. We can, you know, we can just apply this uh, sampling technique repeatedly to generate the posterior samples like uh, the effectively without without the need of computing the difficult part of the posterior uh, 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 you know uh, formula okay so um, so I try to show you that uh, this idea, okay, this idea uh, work, okay, in the sense that it's going to, uh, you know, allow the result to converge, okay, to uh, the desired property, 
uh, we, we use this, uh, you know, um, if you try to, you know, uh, see the ratio f between from, from the, the, the probability from theta to theta plus one divided by probability of theta plus one to theta, uh, it turns out to be this one, okay? And if you try to, you know, extrapolate this result, pretty much you are going to end up with like uh, the, the desired, okay, uh, distribution that we are looking for, okay? And uh, um, we can also write it into a matrix format and uh, if you, uh, uh, I mean, really, I mean, put it, put the, 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 the example that we, that we have in this matrix, it looks like this. And then, um, you know, um, uh, you can, you know, just try to um, represent the current uh, location, the probability of the, of the lo current location as a vector, and then you just multiply that vector with this matrix. Uh, you are going to, you know, end up with like a, the probability of each location, okay, uh, in the next step. So pretty much you just keep uh, multiplying this uh, matrix and you are going to end up with like a, something like this. Okay, suppose you start from like a zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, because uh, the, the, the initial location of the uh, left partition is uh, in the fourth island. So at, uh, initially, okay, the probability will be zero, 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 one, zero, 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 because he is in the fourth island and not in any of the other island, okay? And you apply, you, you, you multiply this vector to that uh, uh, the, uh, matrix, okay? You are going to get this. You multiply this one with the matrix again, you get this one, and so on, okay? So, this matrix sort of explains, okay, how we obtain that. Uh, uh, this result, okay, this result. But uh, we can also look at the, this in a different way, okay, in the sense that uh, um, first, you can clearly, clearly see that, okay, um, no matter where you start, okay, uh, you could start from the fourth island, you could start from the first island, Okay, you can start from any location. Okay, you will see the probability at each island naturally diffused, okay, to different islands. So that's the first thing you can, you can, you know, you can derive, okay, no matter where you start, okay, you can, you can give it a try, okay, you can put like a, maybe one zero 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 zero, I mean, put the, the, the partition at the first, in the first island first, or the second island or the third island and so on, okay? No matter where you put that partition initially, okay? The probability that he will be at each island will naturally diffused, okay, to different islands. Okay, so this is the first thing. And the second thing is, let's look at this formula. Okay, so, you know, we, we just try to multiply, you know, the current distribution with the, the, this uh, matrix, because this matrix, you can see, um, it only has, you know, for each location, it only has, you know, if it's like a, like a, a row vector multiplied by this matrix, you, you understand that it's going to end up with like a, you know, for each, for each uh, location, it's going to end up with 
only three terms because only three terms are non-zero okay for each column anyway so if you try to write it out write, write it out it's going to become something like this okay for the rth term for the rth term it looks like this okay then okay we can also break this thing into four cases this is where I end up with like uh, at the last I mean at the end of the last lecture okay because it without you know writing on the uh, on the on the whiteboard it's just uh, uh, difficult for me to explain okay so first like uh, you may ask I mean we, we need to discuss this in four different cases but you the first thing you you, you want to ask is what four cases shoot uh, let me okay so we know in these terms okay they are inferenced by you know the p of theta p of theta minus one then the p of theta plus one right so we have uh, three We have, this, we have these three uh, terms and their relative uh, relations will you know, impact this uh, equation, right? Okay, in other words, like, uh, you know, which one of them is bigger? Which one of them is bigger? Okay. So if you consider their, all their relations, okay, there are four cases. You may wonder, why, am, why do I say four cases? I mean, if you try to, you know, uh, sort all these uh, three terms, you should get like, uh, you know, uh, the factorial of three, right? six different cases okay so why do i say three uh, four cases it is because okay we only care uh, we only care the relation between these two and the relation between these two the relation between these two okay oops okay one of them is larger the other one is smaller and the relation of these two, one of them is larger, the other one is smaller. Okay, because there's no term. Here you can see we have this term, we have this term, we have this term, we have this term. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, we do need to find out which term is larger and which term is smaller. Okay, for between P theta minus 1 to p theta and the p between p theta to p theta plus 1 but we never need to care you know the re relation between p theta minus 1 and the p theta plus 1 right the, you know here it's about p theta minus 1 to p theta this one is between p theta minus 1 p to p theta this one is between is about p theta to p theta plus one this is about p theta to p theta plus one no term okay here you know need to ask the relation between p theta minus one and p theta plus one right so you have two you have two cases here you have two cases here so two times two is going to be four, okay? It's going to be four, okay? 
uh, to be exact, let me list all the possible cases that we want to discuss. Uh, Okay, the first case, P of theta minus 1, is smaller than, than P of theta. And then P of theta is, it happened to be smaller than P of theta plus 1. Of course, in this case, it implies that P theta minus 1 is also smaller than P theta plus 1. Okay, it happened. Okay, to be this case. So this is the first case. The second case, P of theta minus 1 is smaller than P of theta. But, okay, P of theta is larger than P of theta plus 1. Okay, in this case, you know, obviously, we know p theta is the biggest term, but uh, we don't know the relationship between the p theta minus 1 and the p theta plus 1. But that's okay. That's okay. We, it's good enough. Okay. The third one is p theta minus 1 is uh, uh, larger than p theta. And uh, it, it happened p theta is also larger than p theta plus 1. Okay, the fourth one, the fourth case, is p theta minus 1 larger than p theta. But, okay, here we have p theta, uh, you know, um, smaller than p of theta plus 1. Okay, so in the fourth case, we know P of theta is smallest among three, but we don't know the relationship between P theta minus one and P theta plus one. Which one is bigger? We don't know. But uh, so these are the four cases that we want to discuss. Okay, so obviously, I mean, you can think, okay, for the case two and the case three, if you want to get a total order, if you want to get a total order, I mean, in other words, if you want to know the relationship between P theta minus one and P theta plus one, then you, 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 you can branch each of the case two and the case four, okay, into another two cases. But uh, since in our formula, we don't need that, okay, so we can, we, 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 we are satisfied with these four cases, okay? And um, so let's, uh, obviously you can see that, okay, the case one and the case three are similar, okay, in the sense that they, they, there's a total order, right? And the case two and the case four are also similar in some sense because like uh, the case two, uh, P theta is the largest. And the, P, uh, the case for P theta is the smallest, right? So let's just, uh, uh, instead of like going through all four cases, let's just focus on two of them, okay? You can, you know, let's just pick like the first case and the second case. The third case and the fourth case, you can do it by yourself, okay? So let's try to plug in the first case and the second case into the formula and see what this formula is going to end up with, okay? So the first case, we know P theta minus one is smaller than P theta and it's smaller than P theta plus one, okay? So this multiplication, okay, that's the first term. Which one is going to, uh, do, are, are we going to have? Because P theta minus, minus 1 is going to be smaller than P theta, right? So this is going to be larger than 1, right? 
because the smaller one, the smaller term, happen to be in a denominator, right? A uh, 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 a nominator. I'm sorry. Uh, the smaller term happen to be in the nominator. Okay. So this term, okay, end up going to be larger than one. But we are going to find. We, we want to take the smaller one of this term and the one, right? So, so this term becomes 1. So the first term will become p theta minus 1. OK, uh, this one, right? Oh, sorry, there's a z. OK, there's a z. Let me just put it like this. Right? This is the first term. This part become 1. OK? And then plus p of theta divided by z times, OK, inside the parentheses, we have this. OK? So p of theta divided by z, OK? And inside the parentheses, we actually have two terms. So the first term, OK, uh, well, we know p of theta is larger than p of theta minus 1, right? So this term end up is going to be smaller than 1. So we have 1 minus this, this uh, fraction. So it's going to be 0 0.5 times p theta. And uh, p theta minus 1. Right? Plus 0 0.5 times okay oh sorry uh, it should be 1 minus Okay, so we have a larger plus 0 0.5 times inside here, 1 minus okay, and the p theta and the p theta plus 1. We know p theta plus 1 is larger than p theta, right? So this it's going to be larger than 1. This is going to be larger than 1. So, well, we are going to take 1 from here, right? So 1 minus 1, this term becomes 0, right? So, so 1 minus 1. So this term cancel out. Okay? And then plus p. theta plus 1 divided by z, OK, times 0 0.5, um, 0 0.5 times uh, here, OK, p theta and the p theta plus 1. We know p theta plus 1 is bigger, right, in the first case. So this term is going to be smaller than 1. So we are going to take this. So it's going to be
So, okay. So let's like uh, you know uh, try to simplify this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> We know all these uh, first. I mean